हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई थिंक यू मस्ट हैव इन फिट एंड फाइन एंड दिस इज फरवेश चौधरी आई अगेन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन केन वल्फ राइट केन वल्फ वॉज बोर्न इन एट सेंचुरी फाइन सो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू दैट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इफ यू डेंट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल यट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द फर्स्ट and share the channel okay and uh, as you know that uh, we have been covering uh, the series of anglo saxon writers in the history of english literature and uh, so th today this is the third writer kenwulf okay and uh, today we are going to discuss about the kenwulf all right okay let's see the very first slide over here on your computer screen friends and uh, you can see on your computer screen kin wolf 8th century fine <coughs> so let's go through the brief introduction of the kin wolf first of all uh, here in this passage of uh, kin wolf greatest of the anglo saxon poets and uh, excepting only the unknown author of the wolf you know what friends kin wolf uh, one of the greatest of the anglo saxon poets excepting the only unknown author of the wolf fine we know very little actually we know very little about the writer of the wolf indeed it was not till 1840 and uh, more than 1000 years after his death you know what happened uh, it was uh, came to know after 1000 years after his death that even his name became known and then his name became known to all though he is the only one of our early poets who signed his works actually here what writer is saying friends uh, actually the he is the only one kinwolf is the only one writer poets who signed his works fine the name was never plainly written in fact the never uh, the name was never written plainly but woven into verses but you know what uh, it it is it was included in the verses into the verses woven into the verses in the form of sacred runs sacred run uh, mean means uh, or sacred holy scriptures or inscriptions like uh, uh, creator of works right suggesting a modern carried which are suggesting a modern carried carried means puzzle right uh, now now what it means here that actually all the readers uh, will have to guess the proper idea of the writer what actually the writer here right but more difficult of in interpretation but uh, that interpretation was very difficult until one has found the key to the poet's signature until unless one has to found uh, has found the key to the poet's signature until we find uh, the signature r written by poets so it was uh, very tough very critical to Uh, access or to know to know about the writer fine i hope you must have an understanding students okay fine let's see uh, the work of kinwall fine the very first paragraph here passage <coughs> you can see over here friends in the first line uh, the only signed poems of kinwall are the christ juliana the fates of the apostles and elini fine unsigned poems attributed to him for his school are andreas the phoenix the dream of the rude the descent into hell guthlac the wanderer and some of the riddles find these were the unassigned points right assigned unassigned points means actually uh, we cannot uh, claim that uh, who who actually re written these poems there there are some ideas or concepts right and uh, they the last are simply literary conundrums in which some well known object actually there are uh, there were simply literary conundrums means puzzles on the behalf of these puzzles we can uh, guess we can idea that uh, who actually the writer of this creature these works right some well known object was shown over there like the bow and the drinking horn these are the some uh, physical objects were shown in the works right is described in poetic language and they were further described in the poetic language 
and the hearer hearer means reader must guess the name some of them like the sown and the storm spirit the sown means the pleasant morning or splendid morning or the storm storm spirit right are unusually beautiful these are the creature symbols were seen actually uh, in the works of uh, kinwal fine uh, of all these works the most characteristic is undoubtedly the christ uh, actually the writer is saying here that uh, the christ is the undoubtedly the uh, most characteristic works written by kinwal fine a didactic poem in the three parts which was written in three parts the first celebrating the nativity the first part was celebrating the nativity and the second one the ascension means uh, the development uh, or uh, the twist in the story or in the works and the third doomsday doomsday means climax the final climax right telling the torments and telling about the torments means pains anguish like of the wicked wicked persons and the long joy of the redeemed and the long joy of the uh, protagonist right i hope you guys you students must have been understanding right and uh, let's move further kinwolf takes his subject matter partially from the church liturgy you know what uh, kinwolf uh, would take his uh, mostly subject matter from the church liturgy but more largely from the homilies of gregory and great the great but uh, more largely he he taken the subject matter from homilies means sermon of the gregory the great right the whole is well woven together and the whole part is well woven well included shown together and contains some hymns of great beauty and many passages and contains some hymns means the devotional songs of great beauty and many passages of intense dramatic force and with many passages of intense dramatic force right throughout the poem a deep love of christ and a reverence for the virgin mary are manifest and throughout the poem throughout the entire poem a deep love for christ and a reverence means uh, worship for the virgin mary are manifest are appeared right <coughs> more than any other poem in any language actually more than any other in any language any other poem which uh, was written in any other language more than the more emphasis was shown in this kind of creature or works uh, the christ reflects the spirit of early latin christianity actually the christ uh, reflects the spirit the main spirit of early latin christianity fine so students i hope uh, you have understood uh, the proper meaning of this paragraph and uh, let's move on the very next slide over here and uh, it was the kinwolf 8th century kinwolf works uh, which was written near about 8th century let's see on the next slide here uh, here some more works of kinwolf we are going through and uh, in the first passage here friends in the very first line let's see let's go through the passage in the two epic poems of andreas and elni kinwolf he, here the writer was talking about the two epic poems which was andreas and elni kinwolf if he be the author suppose they were uh, mentioning they were thinking that uh, there are some uh, you know speculation may be or may not be he is the author or he is not the author reached the very summit of his poetical art but reached the very summit top of his poetical art andreas in unsigned poem unsigned poems means you know uh, there was no certainty that uh, this poem was written by the kinwolf or no or written by any other writer or poet right but uh, as per the records it was shown that uh, uh, it has similarity to the works written by kinwolf right so on the behalf of these records uh, the writers uh, the story historical uh, the story and the most historians uh, uh, guess they, that these uh, has been written by the kinwal fine i hope you must have understood right records the story of saint andrew who crosses the sea right to rescue his saint matthew from the cannibals from the Uh, cannibals means man eater here is a story was mentioning here was uh, showing uh, was shown here a young ship master 
a young ship master who sails the boat turns out to be Christ in disguise. But you know what happened later? Who sails the boat? But he turns out to be a Christ in disguise. Actu actually, the later uh, 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 in the end of the story, uh, it was known that uh, he was the Christ in dis disguise. Fine. Matthew is set free and after that Matthew is set free and the savages are converted by a miracle and all the savages are converted by the miracle. It is a spirited poem, fine, full of rust and incident and the descriptions of the sea are the based in Anglo-Saxon poetry, fine. So I hope you guys, you students must have understood he over here and uh, let's see the very next passage here. The alien, the another epic poems written by, uh, most probably by the Kenwell. Alien has for its subject matter the finding of the true cross. Fine, uh, the subject matter, which was the subject matter, the finding of the true cross. Fine, it tells of Constant Constantine's vision of the road. Fine, uh, road means the cross. Here on the eve of battle, on the on the very first evening evening of the battle before the battle fine after his victory under the new emblem actually after his victory under the new emblem means new symbol he sends his mother helena helen to jerusalem why why he sends because in search of the original cross and nails okay the poem which is of very uneven quality the poem having very uneven quality might properly be put at the end of Kinwell's works. He adds to the poem a personal note. He adds to the poem a personal note. Singing his name in runs. Singing his name in runs means uh, puzzle-like creatures, uh, right? And if we accept the wonderful vision of the root, and if we accept the wonderful vision of the root as Kinwell's work, fine. And uh, we learn how he found the cross at last in his own art. You know what? Uh, ultimate the message. Uh, emerged over here that uh, the ultimate uh, finding the cross uh, at last in his own heart actually he came to know that ultimate uh, cross was uh, located situated in his own heart right there is suggestion here of the future uh, Sri Lone fall and the search for the Holy Grail Holy Grail, Grail means uh, they were searching for the Holy Grail the uh, night super uh, taken by the Christ right the, uh, it was known as Holy Grail. So I hope guys you must have been, uh, must have enjoyed this little lecture and I sincerely appeal to all of you please subscribe the channel. If you didn't subscribe please subscribe and share the channel and uh, my humbly request to all of you once again. We need your support, your love, your compliments. These are the true real source of our energy, enthusi enthusiasm and motivations also. So this is the time to say goodbye friends. Meet again in the next video. Till then thank you. Bye.